We've all been told you can't divide by zero, but why? What's so special about zero? Why isn't the answer just zero or infinity? To understand why, we have to stop looking at division. We have to look at its inverse, multiplication. When we ask you what is 12 divided by 4, we are really asking a different question. We're asking, what number when multiplied by 4 gives us 12? The answer is 3, because 3 times 4 is 12. This relationship is the key. So let's try it with 0. What is 12 divided by 0? This is the same as asking, what number when multiplied by 0 gives us 12? And now we see the problem. No number works. Anything multiplied by 0 is just 0. It can never be 12. So from this angle, 12 divided by 0 is undefined because there is simply no answer. Okay, but what about a different way? Dividing by 4 is the same as multiplying by its inverse, which is 1 fourth. 12 divided by 4 equals 12 times 1 fourth. The inverse of a number x is the number that, when multiplied by x, gives you 1. 4 times 1 fourth equals 1. So to divide by 0, we would need to multiply by its inverse, 1 divided by 0. But what is 1 divided by 0? It would have to be the number that, when multiplied by 0, gives you 1. What number times 0 equals 1? We just saw this problem. No number exists that can do this. 0 has no multiplicative inverse. This means the operation of dividing by 0 just doesn't exist in our number system. But what if we just invented an answer? Let's say we make a new rule. Let's call this new number infinity. 1 divided by 0 equals infinity. If that's our new rule, then it must mean that 0 times infinity equals 1. Okay, let's see what happens. If 0 times infinity equals 1, then what is 1 plus 1? That's 2. And since 1 is 0 times infinity, then 2 must be 0 times infinity plus 0 times infinity. Let's use the distributive property and factor out the infinity. 0 plus 0 times infinity equals 2. And what is 0 plus 0? It's just 0. So 0 times infinity equals 2. And now we've broken everything. We have 0 times infinity equals 1, and 0 times infinity equals 2, which means 1 equals 2. This is a paradox. By trying to define division by 0, we created a system where all numbers are equal and math itself stops working. So we are forced to conclude that 1 divided by 0 is not infinity. It is and must be undefined.